Hello everyone, Pixel and Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest King's Ransom. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is medium length, about 25 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 45 magic, 65 defense, completion of Black Knight's Fortress, Holy Grail, Merlin's Crystal, Murder Mystery, and one small favor quests. The required items for this quest include granite of any size, telekinetic grab runes, which is one air and one law, but bring extra just in case, full black armor, which includes a full helm, plate body, and plate skirt or plate legs, bronze medium helm, iron chain body, animate rock scroll. If you have lost this item, you can get it from wizard property later on in the quest. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have several sets of teleport tabs or runes to Camelot and Ardoin, combat bracelet or amulet of glory, stamina and super energy potions, weight reducing gear such as graceful gear. There are some maps in the description below that will help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. You start the quest by going to the Sinclair Mansion. The easiest way to get there is to teleport to Camelot and walk north. Once you are just outside of the gates, talk to Gossip. When prompted, say, how curious, maybe I should investigate it. After you're done talking with him, be sure to check your quest journal to see if you have started this quest. Walk inside of the gates and speak to the guard. Once finished, walk around to the east side of the mansion to a window nearby a fenced-in area with a dog. Right click on the window and select the break option. You will automatically be put inside of the mansion. Walk into the dining room next door. On the eastern side of the dining room is a fireplace with a piece of paper on the ground nearby labeled scrap paper. Pick this up, read it, and then use the stairs on the western side of the house to go to the second floor. Enter the library, which is a central room, and pick up the piece of paper on the table labeled Address Form. Read the form. Next, search the bookcases on the western side of the library to receive a Black Knight Helm. Now you'll need to go back to the guard. To do so, you must go back downstairs to the window you broke. Again, right click on the window and select the break option to get outside. Go to the guard and use the scrap paper, address form, and black knight helm on him. When finished, talk to gossip again. When prompted, select all three options. Tell me about the family, tell me about the mansion, and tell me about Anna Sinclair. After you're done talking to him, teleport to Camelot. Walk west to the courthouse and enter it. Talk to Anna, who is in a jail cell. When prompted, say, okay, I guess I don't have much of a choice. She will give you a piece of thread. Next, use the stairs nearby and select, yes, I'm ready. A trial will begin and a cutscene will occur showing the prosecutor's evidence. When you have the option to select your first witness, choose Pierre the dog handler. When he is on the stand, talk to him and select Ask About the Poison. After he answers a question, do not select anything else. Instead, left click on the judge to present another witness. This time, select Hobbs the butler and ask him about the dagger. Select the judge again and this time choose the next page option and marry the maid. Ask Mary about the night of the murder. Select the judge one last time and choose any other witness that has not been to the stand already and ask about the thread. The trial will end and Anna will receive a not guilty verdict. Talk to Anna who is standing right next to you. Then exit the courtroom using the gate and you'll be teleported to the upstairs of the courthouse. Talk to Anna again, who is in the jail cell. She'll tell you about a secret entrance into Camelot Castle. 
exit the courthouse and walk east towards the castle. Walk around the outside of the castle walls to the northeastern corner. From there, you'll see a statue. Left click on the statue to search it. A cutscene will occur and you'll be thrown in jail. Once in jail, talk to Merlin and select all of the available options. Tell me where King Arthur is. Tell me about Morgan Le Fay and the Sinclairs. And what do we do now? Then go through the next set of options. Reclaim Camelot, retrieve the Holy Grail, and save King Arthur. After you're done talking with Merlin, select the little window that is at the top of the cell. A cutscene will occur. Once Merlin has escaped, talk to each of the knights in the cell with you and receive various items. If you get a lock pick, use it on the cell door lock. If you do not get a pick, then use your telekinetic grab spell on the guard just outside who is doing his hair to receive a hair clip. Use the hair clip on the cell door lock. A pick locking puzzle will appear. Before you start working the puzzle, let me explain how it works. There are four tumblers in total. Your job is to set each tumbler height correctly to unlock the door. To do so, you must first select a tumbler, which is located here. Each tumbler has six possible heights that you can set it at. You can adjust these heights with the up and down arrows here. First, set all the tumblers to zero and select Try the Lock. On the left hand side of the screen, we'll show you which tumblers were set correctly and which were not. If a green dot appears above one of the tumblers, it has been done correctly and you can move on to the next tumbler. If a blue or red dot appears, that tumbler will need to be adjusted more. For example, you will notice on the screen that the first tumbler is green, however the rest are red. So you would leave the first tumbler alone and set the rest of the tumblers to the next height level. Continue this method until all the tumblers show a green dot. This method will only take 6 attempts to complete. Once complete, you will appear in Keep La Fay. Use the stairs and go to the top floor. Search the table that is to the north. You will have to now solve a riddle to find the Holy Grail. Select Show Riddle in the top left corner. Once you've read it, use the X to exit and search the table again. Select the round purple box second from the right hand side. If you have chosen correctly, the Holy Grail will appear in your inventory. Now teleport to Ardoin. Walk north and talk to Wizard Cromperty, who is located in the most northeastern building. He will give you an animate rock scroll if you don't already have one. If he doesn't give you one and it's not in your inventory, then it must be in your bank. Be sure to get it. After talking with him, teleport to the Edgeville Monastery with your combat bracelet or to Edgeville with an Amulet of Glory. Walk to the Black Knight's Fortress, which is located just northwest of the monastery. Once you're there, equip the Bronze Medium Helm and Iron Chain Body. Enter the Fortress. When you're inside, equip all the black armor and left click on the wall directly north of the front door to push it open. Use the ladder to go downstairs. Once there, walk south to see King Arthur's statue. Left click on the statue to free him. Talk to King Arthur and give him the bronze medium helm and iron chain body so he can escape. Once he has the items equipped, teleport to Camelot. Go inside of the Camelot castle and walk into the large room. Talk to King Arthur to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received 1 quest point, 5,000 magic experience, 33,000 defense experience, 5,000 XP reward lamp, and access to the Night Waves training grounds, which unlocks the ability to use piety and chivalry prayers. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.